Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this uh, video, let's test this new super fast charger from Xiaomi. This is a 20 cent watt uh, charger that sells for 999 rupees and quite a few of you have asked me to test this and will it make your existing phones charge faster or not? So as you can see, I have a bunch of smartphones here and we'll test this out and see how it works. As you can see here, we have this uh, power meter. So this shows us how much wattage it's pulling and Xiaomi claims that their new uh, uh, this is the redmi uh, k20 pro supports this 27 uh, watt fast charger so i'm assuming yes it will work with this one but what about other phones for example we have the poco uh, this is the redmi k20 this is the asus 6z the oneplus 7 pro and even samsung's as of now flagship the s10 plus so we'll test this and see so let's first uh, quickly test with this uh, k20 pro and i'm assuming yes it will support it so let's do that and I've plugged it in and as you can see it says 18 watt and it's slowly showing in the meter and it's detected as charging it in turbo so I'll just switch off the screen and it takes a couple of seconds guys so as you can see it's pulling in around 25 watts uh, so 25 26 watts it's pulling so definitely yes this 27 watt charger does make a difference with this k20 pro as you can see over here so let's just pull this out we'll keep this to the side and now uh, let's test with this uh, Poco. Quite a few of you have asked me to test it with Poco because uh, the Poco team says that this is also Qualcomm uh, uh, Quick Charge 4 certified. So let's see if it makes any difference or not. So I'm just going to plug this in and let's look at the meter and it's pulling at 8. It did go to 10. Let's just wait for some time. Sometimes it takes a couple of seconds to ramp it up. Uh, so yeah 12 watts it's pulling it's pulling at 17 19 watts so slightly better than the 18 watt charger it's pulling at 19 point it's going back to about 18 so yes it goes till about 19 so yes technically with the poco it's slightly faster than the 18 watt charger but nowhere near the 27 watt uh, charging claim as you can see as it's hovering between that eight it's just jumping between the 18 and 16. So yes, so if you have a Poco, uh, if you buy this uh, 27 watt charger, it won't make a big difference. A uh, regular 18 watt charger is more than enough for the Poco. Uh, now let's go back to this uh, K20. This is not the Pro, the regular K20. And Xiaomi claims that this supports still 18 watts. So let's see if we go with this faster charger, will it charge slightly faster or not? So let's just put this and test so it's charging and it's pulling eight it says 13 it's going it should go slightly higher i'm assuming like 17 yes 19 so it's going around 19 so uh again back to 18 so similar results to the poco i would say even with the regular k20 so it won't make a significant difference i would say uh, if you're going with that 27 watt charger uh, but it is pulling up to about 19. I didn't expect that. I expected that it will max out at around 18. Uh, so, but it's pulling at around 19 uh, watts as you can see with this one. And uh, now let's uh, look at the ASUS 6 e This also has the Snapdragon 855 SoC. Uh, this has that massive battery. And let's see if this 27 watt charger charges it faster because ASUS claims maximum it can pull is about 18 watts. So let's test that. Let's pull, put this in and uh, nine it's slowly ramping uh, it should go at least till 15 16 i'm assuming 10 watt and guys i have like uh, discharge all of them around 20 percent or so so that it does pull in uh, power 20 to 25 percent and strangely this is not pulling in that much uh, it's going up slowly it's actually going up very very slowly on the 6z as you can see now it's rammed up to 13 watts was stuck at around 11 earlier and it's still increasing so yes i think so this might go till yeah it's 14 point almost 15 watts now so yes going still so i think so this will max out at about that 17 18 watts i'm assuming it's stabilized at about uh 16.5 16.5 so it's very slowly creeping up guys so uh, we can assume that yes this won't uh, pull till that 27 watts or above even 18 watts with the 6c 
and uh, we also have the OnePlus uh, 7 Pro. Uh, this requires the dash charging, but let's see what happens if you use this one. And I've put it and it is charging, it says. So let's see, just pulling at about eight watts. And it's not increasing. So yeah, this is the thing with the OnePlus guys. If you're having a OnePlus device, uh, you have to use that dash charger. If you use any third party charger or even Qualcomm certified chargers like this, as you can see, max it's pulling is about 8.3 watts. And uh, lastly, let's also check uh, this is the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus that I have. Let's check this one and uh, I've plugged it in and it is started charging. So it's pulling about 16.535 watts. So yeah, this also won't make a difference above 18 watt charger as you can see. Uh, so yeah, about 16.53, uh, 16.48. So to conclude guys, I would say, uh, if you're going with this 27 watt charger, make sure your smartphone manufacturer on their website says that it supports 27 watts of fast charging. If it doesn't, it will simply not charge it faster. For example, we have seen that with Poco and even the ASUS Sigzi and etc. So again, before buying this charger, check your manufacturer's website to see if it supports this 27 watt fast charging. If the max is 15 or 18 watt, uh, just magically putting this charger won't make it charge faster. And yes, with the Poco, we were averaging about 18 to 19 watts. Anyways, guys, that's it for now for this video. Thanks for watching. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video. Take care, guys.